dog brings a lot of joy to families and often they're treated like a member of the family. You know that some take it one step further, though, allowing dogs to sleep with them in bed. A lot of us do. Our chief health editor, Dr. Parth and Andy, joins us now with why this might not be such a great idea. Hi, Dr. Andy. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Oh, we're great. How about you? Good. The center, you know, but as far as dogs, you know, the Center for Sleep Medicine at the Mayo Clinic wanted to find out. So research has actually gathered 40 dog owners and recorded their sleep practices over seven nights. All owners, along with their pets, wore accelerometers. Now, this keeps track of their activities. The team found that people who had their dog in their bed had them often had poor quality sleep. Oh, okay, that makes sense because they move around a lot, at least mine does. What You're about the if the dog slept on the floor instead of in the, in the bed with you? It's a good question. So people assume, Carolyn, that a dog anywhere in the bedroom can disrupt somebody's mm. sleep. But this study found it didn't and owners actually got a good night's sleep when their dog slept on the bedroom floor. It's a much better option than allowing them to wake you when they're kicking, <laughs> scratching, or hogging all your covers. I so agree. <laughs> all right, so what other prescriptions do you have for us today? Well, my Dr. doggy Yeti. prescriptions. Number one, many owners feel they don't spend enough time with their dogs, so instead of letting them in your bed, spend quality time with them, taking them on uh, daily walks or playing ball. Also, it takes time to break a dog's sleeping habit. Ignore them when they're on their bed, but uh, do praise them when they jump off. <laughs> Provide lots of love and treats when dogs use their own pet bed. Also, if you suffer from pet allergies or asthma, don't allow your dogs in your bed or bedroom. Please, allergy shots might help you build up pet dander tolerance. And lastly, make sure your dog gets routine vaccinations and flea and tick medicines. Bacteria and diseases carried by these flicks and teas can be transmitted to people. Wow, you're so right about that. All right, Dr. Nanny, you have something special to announce on the 5 p.m. news tonight. So can you give us a, a little hint about what it's about? Absolutely. I'm super excited about to share that today is the day before my, my book releases that I've been hmm. preparing for a long time. I've poured my life's work and knowledge into this. It's called Ask Dr. Nanny Five Steps to Become Your Own Health Hero for Longevity, Well-Being, and a Joyful Life. I've always felt passionately about helping people everywhere, becoming your own health advocate. My book teaches you ways to live a more fulfilled and healthy life. So best of all, you can pre-order it today or get it tomorrow when it's released everywhere. All right, you're looking good on that book there. So I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> will well, they'll like on the outside and the inside. Thanks, uh, Dr. Thank you so Nancy, much. As yeah, always. Can't wait to read it. Thank you. All right, let's get back.